let's make a scary clip today. Hello everyone! Making scenes for my imagination is now significantly more achievable with the help of Cascadeur and Unreal Engine 5. So I'm going to take you guys along with me as I made this shot. Enjoy! So I set out to learn a few things with this spooky footage. One, since discovering Cascadeur for 3D animation last week, I want to see how it and Unreal Engine work together in a proper workflow. And two, I want to see how editing motion capture data from Mixamo works out. And uh, th that's it, so let's go. Now this process is pretty simple, but does require a few extra steps that may not be intuitive. First of all, select your desired Mixamo model from their library and download a T-Pose. For the first one, we'll be using this nurse character here. So first in the top left, switch over the view mode like so. Switch the rotation mode up here from global to local, and then ever so slightly turn the forearm. Now select this center joint and underneath mirror tools set the mirror plane to X. Then by selecting the opposite forearm and hitting snap to mirror on current frame, you'll have a properly set up model for rigging. And now we're going to go into rig mode by clicking this button up here. We'll then load up the Mixamo preset, which is saved under your Cascader install directory. Once this preset is loaded in, your character is now ready to be animated. Now to import an actual animation from Mixamo to be edited later, use the character we've just rigged and go to File, Open Animation, and select the Mixamo file you want loaded. If everything's been set up properly, sure enough, your Mixamo animation is ready to be worked on. What follows is a lot of trial and error, so let's go back to me live trying to figure out this animation. So we want them to basically collide with a would-be uh, cube there. So how do I make a cube? Commands add a cube. Take all of these and set that to that. Okay, okay. Cool. Nope, that didn't work at all. Shit. How do you make the damn hands stop? I just want to keep those hands locked in place. This is a challenge. Yeah, hey, whoa, hold. Uh, that'll work. Shut up, malware bites. That'll totally work. Accidentally nailed it. But after quite a bit of flailing around, we'd come upon a usable animation. And while we're here, we might as well animate our scary monster. Designing a monster is a video in and of itself, so today we'll be using a lightly modified Mixamo model, to which the same process applies. This time, the animation is a crouch into a crawl, so I decided to make it from scratch. Here's a quick time lapse. So this turned out to be a really awkward series of poses to work with, and for some reason I made it hard and didn't use reference. Fortunately, the automatic posing tools sort of fill in a lot of the blanks. for a commercial break. This video is sponsored by Wingfox. Let me tell you about it. They've got some great courses out right now on how to build a first-person shooter from the ground up with enemy AI systems, weapon animations, and much more. The course is receiving regular updates, so be sure to check it out now. Using my affiliate link in the description, you can get 51% off of your order, and it helps support the channel. And now, back to that time lapse.
Is it the most professional animation? Nope. But is it gonna get the job done for the sake of this video? Yes, sir. Maybe. Save. So we got there in the end. Here's that animation. And with that, it's now over to Unreal Engine. First of all, our scene needed a place to be shot in, so I slapped together a quick level. When I was building this hallway, I learned you can control volumetric intensity of individual rec lights, which is really useful for adding atmosphere to your scene. And then I finished this up off camera, so here's the level when it was all finished. So now, let's talk about importing the Cascadeur animations. When your animation is finished, you go to File, Export Scene, and save the file accordingly. It then works in Unreal Engine like any other animated FBX. Dragging the file into Unreal Engine, you hit Import All and ignore all the error messages. Drag and drop the file into your scene and position it accordingly. And once your animation is in place, we'll then track it to Sequencer. This is done by selecting the model and then in Sequencer going to Track and Actor 2 Sequencer. Then on that actor's track, you're able to select a specific animation and place it at some point in the sequence. In this case, we're placing the crouch animation right when the character turns around. To get the first person look, I attach the camera to a socket on the character. I covered this in a previous video, which I'll link in the description if you're interested in trying this out for yourself. All that was left to do was import the textures from Mixamo and apply them to the animations and then run them through the movie render queue. And with that, we have a pretty cool horror shot. So I hope you've enjoyed the process. Here it is again, the final result. And so that's that. I had a blast with this little eight second clip here. I'm really happy with how the process works between Cascadeur and Unreal Engine 5, and I'm looking forward to working with it more in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and found a little bit of inspiration. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.